Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. And what we have here is a baby lock, and it's called the Grace, G-R-A-C-E. And it's the A-Line series. And it's the typical small frame. Uh, you know, it's got a nice frame on the inside. It's got the plastic shrouds on the outside. It's got the drop-in bobbin. It's 15-class plastic. It's got the magnet underneath. It's got the... Uh, composite uh, what we call I guess a uh, plastic bobbin case and uh, it's just your basic generic clone of all the so many of them out there the only difference is going to be in whether you have this feature or that feature it does not does not have an adjustable pressure on top it does have a drop feed it's got a push button reverse it's got the start stop so you can use it with or without the foot control I'm using it without and uh, customers of uh, mine that have this particular machine like it because you can dial them in, stitch you on. Like you turn it on, it's going to be a one. There's your two center needle position. Then you go uh, zigzag all the way up to your you know stretch stitches. You can go up to like 23. Now you just got 23. You dialed it up. So for a beginner, this is a real good machine because you dial the stitch, you push the button, and you're making it just like that. You're slick. Half bad. It's got the handy little uh, lifter bar on the inside there. Everything, of course, is inside the profile, so nothing gets broken. Shipment, it's like a bar of soap. That's the way the new ones are these days because shipping costs are probably as much as what it costs them to build the Dagon machine. I, I could be wrong. I might be uh, right on the money. Who knows? But shipping costs are killing these people, so they do everything they can to make them as light as they can. And still get them functional, which means it has, doesn't have all the uh, metal cams and stuff and the followers. It has a uh, pulse motor that makes the needle bar go left and right. It has a pulse motor that makes the feed, feeders go front and back. And uh, everything's built to a lightweight specification. That's the way I'm saying it now. It's built to a lightweight specification. So it's light. Which means this is the kind of machine that if you put one of these on it, because you say, well, it doesn't have an adjustable pressure, so I'll put a walking foot on it. The walking foot will shake this thing apart. It'll absolutely destroy these uh, connectors and your take-up assembly and everything. It'll, it'll shake it apart. It'll absolutely destroy your machine. Just a walking foot. <clears throat> so I would recommend to not put a walking foot on these. Uh, what you might want to put is a roller foot. And you can get these sewing parts online. This is a metal one with metal rollers. And, of course, what you're trying to do is cut down the friction on top so you don't get the uh, mismatch at the end. Uh, I recommend a roller foot. This one's metal with metal rollers. You can get them plastic with plastic rollers, or you can get them metal with plastic rollers or plastic with metal rollers. They come in all sorts of different configurations, but if you can find one that's metal with metal rollers, they're, of course, made out of metal, and they're going to last better than the plastic. So uh, it's got uh, a lot going for it. It's a nice little machine. It's easy to operate. It's very... Uh, uh, user friendly and uh, I would recommend it for somebody who wants a beginning machine <clears throat> maybe somebody who's going to start out sewing and they don't want the frustration of having to do you know the slide rule uh, calculations to get their machine going some of them are pretty complicated it's pretty easy it's got the bob winder on top 15 class you put it on there you get it going shuts off when it's full put it down in drops in and uh, it's easy because it's got the winder they all have the threader and all the stuff so uh, not a bad little machine, has all the standard characteristics you'd get, plus a couple extras, but the easy function of dialing up the stitches, that's that's the best thing that most people like. I'll go to 37, do a decorative stitch just like that, hit the button, away we go. Making a nice decorative stitch. What do do? Dial it up, push the button, away she goes. This is not a bad little machine. I'll give it one thumbs up. I don't give it a two thumbs up because it's not a 401 or 158 Kenmore. You've heard me say that so many times. You're probably tired of it now and bored with it. But that's the fact. It's not an all-metal precision machine. It's a semi-precise, built to the lightweight standard. It's the Baby Lock Grace. One thumb up. Nice little machine for a beginner or somebody who's going to the quilt retreat and they don't want to lug around a great big old heavy one. There's another consideration for you. But I'd recommend it. Baby Lock Grace. Thanks.